and everybody else. Well hit ball, there it goes! Number 350 for Junior! A bird down, goodbye! Baseball! Junior, the youngest player! YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game, back with another video for you guys today, man, and in today's video i have a sneaker that i am very very excited about those of you who have been around the channel know that but if you haven't been around the channel man and you're new here make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel man join the anonymous sneaker family join the channel um we are on the way to 2,000 subscribers man i love the growth we've been showing thank you for everyone who has been showing support um also if you are subscribed whether you're new here or not man and you want to support just take the half a second to go ahead and smash that like button really helps with the algorithms helps bring more people to the videos which in turn helps grow the channel and then last but not least man go ahead and follow the instagram at anonymous sneakerhead you get a lot of information up there first polls stories questions um, kicks of the day, all, all of that stuff, man. So make sure you go ahead and do that. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So right here in front of me, man, I have a massive red Nike box, right? We see this box a lot, but this is like by far the biggest one of these boxes that I've ever owned. Um, just for comparison, right? On average, like when I get a regular Air Max or a Dunk or whatever, this is the size box that I usually get. These are the box for the um, Michigan State Dunks. And then look at how much bigger this box is right here. You guys can just see the difference, but anyways, that box is irrelevant right now. Um, and we don't need to go into too much detail. We've seen this box a million times, but on the label, we have an Air Griffey Max 1. Um, colorway is white, metallic gold, and black. And these are from Foot Locker, retail for $170. These just got in last night, um, actually like the middle of the day, which is uncommon for me um they came through fedex so fedex things usually get delivered earlier to my house but i just wasn't home i was out of town for work yesterday but let's get in to reviewing this shoe let me take one out here is the other one and here it is the air griffey max one sweetest swing So if you guys can see it right here, the Air Griffey Max 1 Sweetest Swing. Now, for those of you who have been around the channel for a while know that the Air Griffey Max is one of my single favorite um, sneaker silhouettes of all time. I probably put it in my top 10 uh, favorite sneaker silhouettes. Um, and with them coming back out this year, I don't know what's been going on over at Nike, but they've been showing so much love to Ken Griffey Jr. Um, this year, re-released now a bit like this is a grail of mine not just my favorite silhouette but the single like a grail colorway for me was the fresh water that came out earlier this year and i'm still upset i wasn't able to get those man i had to work a camp that day so i wasn't able to actually go to the stores and then i had some people who could go to the store for me but one of the malls like idiots when the when the fresh waters came out didn't know that they had like a specific release date and put them out like a week in advance so on release day they only had like one size eight left regardless um like i said the fresh water is my favorite griffey colorway it is a grail of mine but these will do you know what i'm saying i absolutely love these i love the details that they put into these man so for me growing up uh, I, I ended up obviously playing college football and now I'm a college football coach, but growing up for me, I was also a very big time baseball player as well. Um, and it was a decision for me to be made, which I was going to play in high school. And growing up, there were two baseball players that I loved, that I, re that I really, really admired. One of them being Manny Ramirez of the Boston Red Sox, man, Manny being Manny. Absolutely love watching Manny play, even though I am a Mets fan and he's a Red Sox. I loved watching Manny Ramirez play. And the second of those two players was Ken Griffey Jr., man, the kid. And you know what I'm saying? I remember around when I was like in third, fourth grade, everybody had Griffey's but me. They had the fresh waters. And that's when you had like the Cincinnati Reds colorways and all those different colors. Everybody had them. I never owned a pair of Griffey's before until now, man. I was so, so young. It was third grade, so I wasn't going out and spending a lot of money. My parents weren't going to spend a lot of money on the shoes that I was going to grow out of, man. But 
But let's get into the details of these shoe, man. First of all, just the Air Griffey Max silhouette. Like I said, I'll say it again, one of my favorite silhouettes of all time. And I love the, the visible air bubble units, man. You can see just how massive they are. I, I like that big, like chunky, almost boot-like aesthetic to shoes like that. I think maybe that's why I gravitate so much towards the Air Jordan 12. Um, why I gravitate so much towards the Reebok Kamikaze 2s, why I even like the Reebok Pump. I like that thick, like heavy duty boot aesthetic um, of a sneaker, man. But let's just get around on to the details here. So real quick, the first thing I'm gonna say, just um, first two things, knocks on this sneaker, like things that I don't like. I'll start with the heel right here. Now, it's not that I don't like it. I actually do really, really love the, the Swingman, the Sweetest Swing logo that they do have here on the heel. I think that's dope. Um, and I don't know where else they could have put that. Like, I don't think it would have fit here where the 2-4 is. Um, I honestly don't know where else they could have put that, but I do think it needs to be on the sneaker for the particular story the sneaker tells. But, like I said, the Air Griffey Max Freshwater is one of my all-time grails. And one of the reasons, like, I just love this silhouette. Like, one of my favorite parts of the sneaker is, like, I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but on the heel of a regular Griffey Max, they have like a Nike swoosh, but it's sideways and it goes, it looks really, really cool, especially when you hold both of them together. But once again, I'm not mad at this, just something that I noticed, you know what I'm saying? It would have been cool. Like to me, that's a trademark aesthetic of the shoe. It would have been cool if like, say this shoe, like what is this? The left shoe had the swoosh and then this one had the swing man. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, man. I'm not too, too mad about that. But the other thing that I am very happy that they kept the aesthetic of, and this is one of the things that like, initially really drew me to the shoe when i was really young because it was like it was almost i don't want to say toy like or whatever but the this little uh graphic right here on the outsole like the flaming baseball i absolutely love that love that they kept that there man but now let's get into the more of the details man on the um the heel part of i guess this wraparound mud guard we could call it but on the specific heel part i really like they did um i don't know if you guys can see it this wood green pattern that goes around there just once again really paying homage to baseball not just ken griffey jr but baseball in general they also have the baseball um stitching that goes up around there which is really really nice man once again ken griffey jr 24 we do get the 2-4 right there another thing too this year a jackie robinson pair did release i caught the l on those on sneakers but it had the 4-2 once again thought that was really dope um all black shoe let's look around here some more so we do get a gold swoosh outlined in black on here once again super dope um like and all of this is synthetic leather uh this isn't like great quality leather or whatever that we have coming all the way around here same thing with this perforated leather that we have coming up the top looks looks almost like a jersey ish to me so that's the vibe that i get from there and then um i guess something i could i would knock a little bit about this shoe like not really but just so you guys can see there's like three different panels on the side of the shoe right you have this bottom panel right here this panel where it's perforated leather and then up here like right before the laces on like the og griffies like the the griffy max freshwater right this um top section of the shoe is black as well and just changes the look of the shoe a little bit more just the way that it's color blocked but once again nothing wrong with these i do absolutely love these still super excited to have them in the collection man we do get um similar to the fresh waters as well we do get you know what i'm saying the red uh i guess eyelid or whatever at the bottom of the shoe which is a dope touch man and then up to the top another one of the defining features of the shoe we get the 24 strap so adjustable you know what i'm saying keep it tight whatever you want to do right there some people wear them just like this you know what i'm saying some people wear them like this some people wear them strapped up um to each their own and then we have like that sock like sock liner on the inside of the shoe man yeah i you guys can tell i really really like these um i do want to do them justice by giving them a lot of detail and then we also do have that nice like i don't want to call it teal uh blue or green it's it's probably more green um that goes around here but like this kind of i'll call it like a dark teal that runs around the the actual midsole right there we got the orange the yellowish orange bubble around the back with the blue bubble in the front and then the last detail I'm gonna get to, just, just for the purposes of the camera lining up, I always usually review the right shoe, but the left shoe does come with a hang tag right here, and you guys can see on one side of the hang tag, we get the Swingman logo, and then on the other side of the hang tag, we get the 24. Um, really, really dope, man. I, I love these sneakers. These are definitely gonna be in my top 10 pickups of the year, so stay tuned for that coming up uh, tomorrow. But yo, I like I said, I absolutely love these. Just everything about this sneaker, like 
you got, first of all, King Griffey Jr., one of my favorite baseball players. Baseball, one of my favorite sports. Um, played it a lot growing up, travel teams, all of that stuff. Um, and then, ob obviously, with just like my sneaker heritage. I love Air Maxes in general. Obviously, you get your air bubbles there. You get the lugs like you would get on your Air Max 90. Just, it's a dope sneaker. It's a beautiful sneaker. Love the silhouette. Love the colorway. Love the storytelling of this sneaker, the sweetest swing. Um, I'm probably going to attach a picture on the screen because there's no way I'm going to be able to show you guys the insole here without like tearing it out and I don't want to take it out because of the sock liner is going to be hard to put back in but you do get the sweetest swing graphic um not the graphic but just the words the sweetest swing on the insole I mean that's super super true man when you watch Ken Griffey Jr. play he had the smoothest of smooth swings man that's why I made the intro video what it is you know what I mean? Him him hitting that home run. One of my one of my greatest moments, uh not greatest moments, but my favorite baseball moments to watch was Ken Griffey Sr. got up the bat. I believe he hit a double. It might have just been a base hit, but I think he hit a double. And then um Junior came up, hit a home run, hit him in, they made it to plate. Super, super dope moment. Speaking of the two of them with this sneaker as well, Nike did release a bunch of other sneakers. They released an Air Max 90. Um, and I saw I got to see all of these in person um, in the store. I ordered this one online because they didn't have my size in the store. But I did actually go to the store to see them all in person. I didn't love the Air Max 90 just because with the exception of the Air Max 90 Bacons, I don't really like a leather toe on my Air Max 90s. They were cool. The Air Force ones were dope. Um, I will um, probably in the future, hopefully in the future, I should say, try to go back and get a pair of those. I really love how... You get the senior and junior on the heels with the 24 and the 40. I think that's really dope. And then there was an Air Vapor Max Plus as well. They all come with this same hang tag. They all tell the same story. But if I was going to get one of those four sneakers, it had to be the Griffey Max itself. Um, to me, to tell this tells the best story of Griffey because it is his sneaker. Um, and man, absolutely had to get these. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? This isn't a shoe that I'm gonna keep on ice or anything. I'm gonna wear it when I feel like I can wear it, when I can put a fit together, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Love this sneaker. It's such a nostalgic moment for me, man. Um, I know this video is running a little, a little long, so I am going to wrap it up right there, guys. But um, just one more time, super excited, super happy to have these in the collection now um, and in the rotation. But that is it for this video, you guys. I am the Anonymous Sneakerhead. If you are new here, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Anonymous Sneakerhead family. Join the channel. Um, also, if you want to show support, all that I ask is that you take the half a second to go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps with the algorithms. Helps bring more people to the videos, which can help grow the channel. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're on the road to 2000. And then last but not least, make sure that you go ahead and follow the Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. You get a lot of information up there. First, poll stories, questions, kicks of the day. Uh, I posted these up there already, man. Once again, I, I just, real, I can't believe like I'm holding these. You know what I'm saying? It's a shoe that I own. Um, first time I owned a pair of Griffey Maxes. Like it's one of those, one of those moments, man. But um, that's it for this video, you guys. I am the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game, and as always, it's all about the sneakers. <laughs>